In this video, I will talk about the bioavailability of minerals in water and in particular in seawater because it is something that is often debated in the naturopathic community. Many people say that the minerals in mineral water or in seawater are not absorbable by the body, but I will prove them wrong in this video based on a dozen studies, of which I put the links in the description box under this video. Also, if you want more details, go read my article, which link I also put under the video. The video of today is only a summary of that article. So I've already done a detailed video and a long article on Rene Quinton's book on seawater, which in itself proves that seawater minerals are indeed bioavailable. But today I'm going to rely more on recent scientific studies. Unfortunately, these studies are based on desalinated uh, refined seawater, whereas I would have preferred to find studies about the health effects of unrefined seawater. But anyway, the findings of these studies are still interesting. The seawater used in these studies is deep seawater obtained from more than 200 meters deep and desalinated. So that means that they remove the majority of the salt. Deep seawater is not contaminated, has little or no bacteria and is very pure. Studies show that minerals are best absorbed when consumed in their ionized form, especially in their water soluble form. Clinical trials have confirmed various beneficial effects of refined deep seawater in humans in broad areas such as cardiovascular diseases, allergies, intestinal diseases, immunology and infectious diseases. No adverse effects from even long-term consumption over a year of one liter per day have been reported in clinical trials. Refined deep seawater is a good source of nutrients. The minerals in seawater are mainly magnesium, calcium, chromium, selenium, vanadium, as well as many trace elements. They provide many health benefits. A study has shown that when seawater minerals are extracted and isolated, mainly calcium and magnesium, their health effects are less powerful than whole seawater, due to the many trace minerals in seawater that increase the bioavailability of the minerals. Studies show that mineral-rich water is healthier than low mineral water. The prevalence of cardiovascular mortality and sudden death is 10 to 30% higher in low mineral freshwater areas compared to hard water areas. The mineral content of the water reduces calcium oxalate stones in the kidneys, mainly because of the minerals magnesium, calcium and bicarbonates. In one study, magnesium deficient rats had elevated histamine levels. The deficiency also caused eczema and dermatitis. Patients with eczema or dermatitis usually have an imbalance of various essential minerals in their hair and some people have toxic mineral levels. In one study, consuming seawater restored levels of essential minerals such as selenium and reduced levels of toxic metals such as mercury and lead in the treated patients. In another study, patients with eczema and dermatitis drank 500 milliliters per day of seawater. After one year, skin symptoms were significantly improved in the deep seawater group, while they were unchanged in the control group. In one study, hypertensive rats that were treated with seawater for eight weeks had lower blood pressure than the control group. Although the seawater used in the study contained a large amount of salt, blood pressure did not increase. In another study, the use of seawater did not affect blood pressure. Many combinations of minerals in seawater, such as magnesium, calcium and sodium, are associated with reduced blood pressure. Interestingly, high magnesium content can lower blood pressure in the presence of sodium. 
In one study, seawater was able to improve glucose intolerance and suppress high blood sugar. Seawater makes the pancreatic islet of Langerhans regain their size and increases the secretion of glucagon and insulin. Seawater protects from hepatic problems. In one study, seawater decreased lipid accumulation in the liver. Liver antioxidant levels were also improved. According to the available studies, the hardness of seawater ranging from 0 to 1500 did not cause any damage to the liver or the kidneys. Seawater can reduce symptoms of colitis, mainly due to magnesium and other minerals. Magnesium deficiency causes asymptomatic inflammation of the small intestine. A study was done on two groups. The first group was supplemented with refined seawater, the second group with mineral water. Each group consumed one liter per day for 12 weeks. Constipation was significantly improved in the seawater group compared to the mineral water group. In another study, magnesium supplementation resulted in improved restoration of the intestinal mucosal integrity. In several studies, seawater has been shown to provide antioxidant, anti-inflammatory and anti-apoptotic protection in the duodenal epithelium and alleviate duodenal ulcers. It has been suggested that this effect is related to its high selenium content. Regarding peptic ulcers, One article reported inhibitory effects of seawater on the growth and motility of H. pylori. One liter of seawater was administered daily for 10 days to subjects infected with H. pylori. Anti-H. pylori effects in vivo were observed in more than 90% of subjects drinking seawater. Seawater can improve fatigue and exercise intensity. In one study, its administration promoted endurance and reduced the fatigue period of rats during an exercise test. The ratios between elimination and increase in lactic acid were improved in rats treated with seawater. The results suggest that seawater, which contains boron, magnesium, lithium and rubidium, can supplement and improve molecular and cellular complexity during exercise, eradicate exercise-induced muscle damage, and strengthen antioxidant capacity against oxidative stress. Seawater application can delay cataract development. This effect is associated with the presence of magnesium and calcium content in seawater. Seawater has therapeutic potential on osteoporosis. Seawater at hardness 1000 showed significant increase in proliferation of osteoblastic cells. In an in vivo study that used seawater for four months, bone mineral density was strongly enhanced. Data show that seawater has inhibitory effects on breast cancer metastasis, suggesting that seawater has some promise in improving cancer survival by preventing tumor metastasis. Seawater was found to be richer in magnesium than in calcium. The importance of calcium to magnesium intake ratios in minimizing the risk of rectal cancer has been reported. A calcium to magnesium ratio of 147 or 245 significantly reduced cancer. Minerals in seawater speed up fermentation processes. In one study, several acids that determine the quality of sake all had about 30 to 70% faster production with seawater. Each single addition of isolated minerals, sodium, magnesium, calcium and potassium also stimulated some fermentation, but none of them achieved the stimulation provided by seawater. A similar acceleration of fermentation was observed in beer, shoyu sauce, miso, bread, pickles and other foods and drinks, and is considered as resulting from a possible combination of effects of minerals in seawater.
The minerals and trace elements in seawater are not only bioavailable, but can improve many conditions such as eczema, cardiovascular diseases, diabetes, IBD, stomach ulcers, cataracts, osteoporosis, and even cancer. Moreover, contrary to popular belief, sodium in seawater does not cause high blood pressure or kidney disease due to magnesium and other minerals and trace elements present in seawater, which are hypotensive and protect the kidneys. Studies, in agreement with what René Quinton has demonstrated, show that the beneficial effects of seawater are not caused by one or two minerals in particular, but by the synergy of all the minerals and trace elements present in seawater. Moreover, artificial seawater, that is to say distilled water to which all the main minerals of seawater were artificially added, does not have such significant therapeutic effects as natural seawater because of all the trace minerals present in natural seawater that gives it its unique medicinal properties. So I hope this video clarifies this subject. I really recommend that you go read my article about uh, this subject. I will put the link under the video uh, and also in the comments if you want more details. Again, today in this video, it was a summary of my article that I wrote about that subject on my blog. I see you in the next video. Bye bye.